Welcome back to Photos with Yanni. I want to do a quick video because a lot of people have been asking me how do I get so much detail in my moonshots. So I wanted to do a quick video about stacking in Photoshop. It's a lot simpler than a lot of people think it is. Um, it's not going to take us long, maybe five to ten minutes to get it going. But I just wanted to go through my editing process from when I get the moonshot to all the way to something like this, the one that I have put up on the screen right now. How do we go about that? The very first thing that we're going to do is capture the moonshot. As I've spoken about the other video that I've done, probably one of my first videos is you can capture the moon with gear you already have. You don't need anything crazy. You just need a telephoto lens, maybe something above 200, 250 millimeters, uh, 75, 300, 70, 300, 55, 250, 70, 200. I use a 70, 200 and a 2x teleconverter, or I also use a 500 millimeter. Uh, telescopic lens with a T-ring that hook up to my camera. It's just the SB Voni 105, I believe, with a fixed 5.5 aperture. 500 millimeters is more than enough. It gives me a lot of details. Would would I love to have a 2x tele on it? Of course, I would love to. But this is where this process comes in in Photoshop. It's going to eliminate noise and give us a heck of a lot much detail in our shots. So basically, you do your setup. Uh, you want your ISO anywhere from 100 to 400 then you want your aperture to be between 7.1 to 9 and then you want to dictate your shutter speed generally faster shutter speed is going to help you out in this one this one was shot of at a 1 over 125 and I use the electronic shutter to completely eliminate noise um, that's crucial if you can get a burst of 10 15 photos just you know however many photos you can get with your camera that's the sequence you want to use anywhere from 5 to 10 to 15 that's a lot more data that you can use so you want to get a burst of photos uh, once you set it up and then we're going to bring your photos to Lightroom and I'm going to show you how we're going to go ahead and edit them so just to recap tripod uh, remote shutter if you got it set up your camera f 7.1 to f9 iso 100 400 shutter speed anywhere from 125 and up use electronic shutter if your hammer has it if it doesn't just get a burst of photos because if you can get either three or four or five photos we can utilize them in our editing process again if you like what you see uh, please like, subscribe, uh, throw us a comment. We try to do a lot more videos, you know, about photography subjects that uh, a lot of people think they're popular. I'm working on another video about the R6 and if it's, you know, a good camera or if 20 megapixels is enough, it is enough. So without any further ado, let's go in and see if we can get this editing done so I can show you what I'm talking about. All right, so here we are in Lightroom and we have... Uh, 1 over 125, ISO 100, that's with the telescope. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go ahead and get it a nice crop right here. So I like it. It's got a lot of detail. So what we're going to do is uh, a little bit of contrast. Bring my texture up, some clarity, a little bit of dehaze. You don't want a lot of dehaze because you don't want to lose any details. Uh, increase some of the shadows, a little bit up on the highlights and a little bit up on the whites without washing it out. Uh, I don't want to mess with the blacks because I don't want to lose any detail right here. So as you can see, it's a little bit better. Let me see if I can push it a little bit more clarity yeah a little bit more clarity out and a little bit more texture so we have a much better defined moon right now so the other thing that i want to do is go down here and give me a little bit more sharpening because the stacking process will allow us to eliminate some of the noise okay so this is image 190 let's select image 190 to um, 199 and we're going to go ahead and sync them synchronize them all the aspect ratio everything just want to make sure that they're they're good to go going through them 
you want to make sure that they're not moving too much because if they are moving that could be an issue so all right so we're going to select 190 to 199 that's nine images i'm going to right click on them edit in open as layers in photoshop error message pops up okay whatever open anyway all right so here we are in photoshop as you can see these are all our layers i'm going to go through them real quick make sure there's no movement they are not moving so as you can see they're all perfectly aligned so at this point you can select all of them and go to edit and auto align layers but we're not going to do that because they're pretty much perfect as they are so what we're going to do is select all of them and right click and convert to smart object now we have a smart object what we're going to do is go into layer smart objects stack mode median there we go then this is where the trick comes in right click on it duplicate this layer selecting the top layer we're going to go filter other high pass you want to keep it between two and four four may be too much see what i mean that's coming through i want to keep it i let's say keep it a good 3.0 right here that's good and then where it says normal right here you're going to select that and go down to overlay how much detail how much more detail we're we getting out of that one i mean it's incredible so now you can either control or command s it back into lightroom which is what i'm going to do or export it as a tiff file and bring it back into lightroom so i'm going to go ahead and click command s it's saving it so when we get back into Lightroom it should be our updated file so let's go see sure enough here is our new updated file from Photoshop so now we're gonna go into I'm gonna crop it properly about a 4.5 but I want to keep it like this and now we have a lot more detail so what are we gonna do well give me some contrast down the whites a little bit because we got the detail you just don't want the washed out brightness a little bit on the shadows up bring me the highlights up increase it just a little bit give me a little bit of haze give me a little bit of texture a little bit of clarity and now as you can see the mood is a little bit rough so what we can do let's do a little bit of luminance Boom. how much better does this look so from here on if you have a little ring around you can turn the saturation down completely and you have a pretty great and decent and easy moonshot but I want to take it a step further I'm going to go ahead and export it oh, yeah I had it I had a bird pooping huh and bring it into luminar here luminar is going to do a couple of things automatically it's going to make it sharper it's going to make it more vibrant but if i ran one of my presets right here it's going to give it a little bit even more detail now let's play around a little bit more let's go and get in some highlights down some contrast bring some of the whites down So much better probably AI the structure a little bit on the amount enhance it so this is what we're gonna end up with not bad right I understand there's a million ways to do this and I understand it can be a lot more technical but if you are an amateur 
and you get those kind of moonshots, wouldn't you be happy? And that's what we're here for. As always, if you like what you see, like, subscribe. Hit me up with a question. Next video is coming up on the R6, hopefully. And I'm going to keep doing tutorials. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you know, I would love to hear from you. And talk to you soon. This photos with Yanni. Bye.